Okay guys, welcome back. Today we're doing another lot walk. All right, let's get it. Okay guys, we're gonna start up here in the front. Today has been very busy. I need to go ahead and shut all the hoods down. These are all the ones that people have been looking at this morning. Got a lot of people coming through, checking all the cars out. But we got tons of new stuff. Wanna make sure everything's priced. That Impala back there didn't have a price on it, so I'll have to look it up for you. We just updated the website with 10 new cars. We do that every week, every Monday. And this is the Monday Lot Walk. Be sure to hit subscribe, share. I'll keep these videos coming your way. We specialize in American muscle cars. Been doing it almost 40 years, around, I guess we're at our 39th year now. And we were very busy last week getting all these ready. We're also getting everything ready for next week. Check our website, maplemotors.com. We'll have financing and shipping available for you. Also, 100 detailed pictures of every car and a test drive video here on YouTube pointing out all the flaws. The way I look at it, you can see what's wrong or you can see the good. We tell you what's wrong. I feel like that's the best way to sell things. That way you know what you get before you get here. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna walk around the whole entire car a lot and do my best to inform you. Here is a 1955 Chevy Bel Air. This one's 32.9. You can see under the hood in the test drive video or on our main website. Beautiful car there. Right next to that, 1972 Chevelle. This one's 25.9. If you see hold on the windshield, hold does not mean sold. Keep that in mind. We do hold cars for 24 hours for people to come up with the rest of the money. If you send $1,000 down, that car will be locked in for you for a matter of two weeks. Right next to that's a 1971 Chevelle. This one's 25.9. Some more new inventory, 1962 Impala. This is a four-door car. Video is up and running under my currently available playlist here on YouTube. So you can see the test drive and learn all about it. At the end of all the test drives, I do a walk around, point out chip scratches, flaws, all that good stuff. This one here is gonna be 27.9. It's a 1967 Impala Fastback. Looks like it's got fuel injected. LS motor. Got disc brakes, boost wheels. 1970 Pontiac Le Mans sitting here, 21.9. Just got the El Camino in, 86 model. You can tell it's already getting looked at. We just listed it this morning, it's 11.9. That was a one owner car. We got the Camaro sitting here. This one's 29.9. Beautiful ride. And actually, I think this one already sold. So we're gonna go on next to the next to it. It's a 1972 Camaro. It is available 28.9. Right next to that, 1974 Formula Pontiac Firebird 19.9. Just listed this morning. That's a pretty decent car. Don't miss it. Check the video out. It may not last through today. We had this pretty little Nova sitting here, 67 model. It's It was 25.9 and it's already sold. We got it out of here. 
beautiful car. Got the louvered hood, the roll cage. Got some more new ones over there. A couple new trucks here. Right here, how about a 1992 S10 pickup truck? I believe that's a classic now. It is. 7950. It's miles. Check it out. One of my favorite from this update, which is awesome. 1970 Pontiac GTO. This one here is 44.9 and absolutely beautiful. Look at that paint job. This car here is definitely my favorite from the update. And the test drive is already out. It's very hot. It's a fast car. It should be a fun video to watch, so I encourage you to check it out. Okay, we're gonna go on into the showroom, check out Pops' Hot Wheels room, come back out, check these trucks out. Got a few cars in the back I need to show you. And we got the left side of the lot. So stick around, I'll be back in just a moment. Ain't that right, Harbor? Ain't that right? <laughs> so this weekend, Pops came up here at about 10 o'clock on Saturday and didn't leave till five. He revamped the Hot Wheels room. So if you haven't been in here in a while, come check it out. Lots of new cars, all the dollar cars have been moved out here to the dollar table that way the kids can get their stuff that when they come with you but in here everything has changed we're gonna have to do another video and show all the new stuff that he's put up on the walls check it out uh he's got a youtube channel jim fights hot wheels and obviously i run that channel as well walk around the room just kind of show some stuff so i encourage you to go check that out here on youtube or you can check out the music channel southgate production I just moved, got my studio set up. We're gonna be putting out some new music. The beginning of these videos, I'm sure you've noticed in the last week that music has been changing. That's some of the stuff that I've been working on. It's not quite done yet, but you know, I wanted to show you what we were doing. Let's get back out there to the main car lot and see what else we got. Of course, we're off in the showroom and there's about two cars I believe in here that are available. These are personals back here, except for this one. It sold last week. It didn't take it very long to go, 1939 model. And of course the Camaro's Jason's, he just don't have any more room to put his car. So he starts storing them in the showroom here. And of course coming up here, we got the Fastback that sold before I could list it. I really wanted to get it online because those Fastbacks are hot very hot cars and you could tell you know people walk around the lot all the time and especially on mondays this place is packed so when they walk in they see something that uh hasn't yet hit the website they jump on it and that happens a lot so it's getting more than often it's about 20 to 30 percent of the time now but we still get a lot of cars in here so we're always listing stuff this one's a 1964 corvette it's got a 327 it's going to be 49.9 beautiful car it is on the website it hit this morning got the four speed transmission on um on our website we have a merchandise link Go there, check it out. They even sell tapestry. I don't know how many of y'all would want tapestry on the wall, but I actually picked up one from my house. I think everybody here has picked up some. They're all in different colors. Also got new t-shirts with that design on it. This one here ended up going on hold. 1966 Ford Mustang. Beautiful car here, but it is on hold at the moment. There she goes. GTO has got people looking at it right now. I told you. Things get crazy up here on Monday is that Maple Motors. You see a lot of cars do pass through, a lot of cars do sell quick. With that being said, I'm not gonna miss out on this one. 1969 BW Bug. 12.9 on this one, air ride pinstriping all over this car. The yellow bug that we had actually sold last week, so if you were interested in that and you were one of the people that have called about it, it's already gone. But we still got one sitting here for you for all the VW people. Let's walk on up here. I still got the uh, C10 truck in the back, the long bed. You're going to want to check it out. I still got the work van 
It's like a 2001 model. It's in the back of the lot as well. If you're interested in that, we tried to price it in a good price range for people to pick it up, especially like painters, workers, anybody that needs a van to transport their tools. I do got two trucks sitting here. They're new. This one I love, absolutely love. I got to drive it home a few times. Um, and I just love this truck. It's 1965 C10 Holly fuel injection sniper. I believe it was the Holly. Let me check. <laughs> Oh no, it's the Phytech. Just as good. I have a Phytech system at home waiting to go on my next ride. I've used the Holly as well and I've experienced both of them and they're both about the same. They both work great. Turn the key, fire it up. This was 32.9. Beautiful truck. US mags, Willwood brakes. The beds has been redone. It looks great. Interior has been redone as well. All new chrome bumpers, dual exhaust. Is it unlocked? Oh, of course it's locked. Got to keep this one locked. Right next to that, this one's 29 9. This is going to be a 1962 C10 pickup truck. around it check it out as well bed's been done just a beautiful ride and we got him sitting right here in front of the office ain't that right mike that's right it's going around over here i've already sold the chevelle we had it last week at 25.9 we also had this impala here it's 14.9 we have it on hold at the moment but what about the Pontiac Le Mans? It is available. 22.9 convertible top, 1967 model. And it's ready for you. Let me go ahead and get that tire. We're going to take that tire off and get the bead reset. Because every time we air it up, it goes back down. Told you we don't hide nothing. <laughs> I'll have that done today, actually. I believe this is another new ride that just came in. I'm going to have to jump on it. It's got the big block in it. It needs a paint job. 1967 Biscayne 12.9. At that price range, I really need to go ahead and get the video out for you. That way you know what you're getting. Because uh, usually anything under 20 grand goes extremely fast. Coming over here, 65 model Impala convertible already sold. I'm sure y'all seen it last week. It is gone. It's out of here. Guys, don't forget to hit subscribe, share, hit like. I do like making these videos for you. And uh, with you doing that, keeps me doing so. We're gonna walk around the lot one more time, just check everything out, make sure I didn't miss nothing. I can go ahead and include the two cars at the end of this video in the back. There's a C10 pickup truck, project truck, and a 01 model van that is for sale. But we'll go ahead and just kind of breeze through here for our family business. I am the youngest. My grandfather started this. I'm here with my uncles and my dad. Here soon, you may see my sister start stepping in the picture. Don't forget about the detail pictures we have. Jeff does all the detail pictures. So I'm running around doing all these videos for you all the time. Just to have two perspectives. That way we don't miss anything. And we keep happy customers. A lot of people will bring cars back, especially locals, and trade for for a different one. I mean, you see something you like and you want to trade for it, we have no problem with that, especially getting the classics in. I believe I just sold a 2013 model Charger. No, it was a Challenger. It was orange, it was in the back. It was supposed to go on today. It was a hot car, I think it sounded great. We don't get new model stuff in, but that's another one that missed. I can show it to you, it's in the back of the lot right now. But if you do see something you like, all you have to do is go to maplemotors.com, check, make sure it's still available. We have a high rate of sales here. It goes through. We'd like to do little markup, high volume, and that's why we're gonna keep it. If I get a good deal, as long as I can make a little bit on it, I'm gonna keep the price low.
with that being said make sure to check out our merchandise see if you like any of that stuff we do uh give out t-shirts up here to everybody that buys a car sometimes if you come in tell me you're a subscriber talk to me a little bit i know i'm rushing around all the time trying to get all these videos done for everybody but i'll probably hook you up with one of our shirts we get new stuff in all the time and pretty much my whole entire closet's maple motors t-shirts <laughs> that's all i want to wear Guys, I do appreciate you supporting the music. Check out Southgate Production. Check out Pops' Jim Fights Hot Wheels channel. And I do thank you for watching. We're going to go to the back. I'll end with that. Have a good one, guys. So this is that one that we picked up that I was going to show you anyways. We already sold it. Um, it was a beautiful car. This one was 24.9. It was a one owner with low miles. I was just not able to get to it fast enough. It sold before we could even list it today. Somebody came in uh, last week, heard about it, picked it up, scooped it, and it's gone. Of course, over here, we got a truck, 1972 C10 pickup, $3,500. You want to check it out don't have a video out on it because it doesn't run and drive this is one of those that's got some rust issues you can see it in the bed and stuff over there you can see it in the bottom of the doors there's a lot of rust on this truck but we'll try to keep the price down on it, it does have a good motor in it it will run and i want to say they got it hooked up of course i've been gone the last week i've been moving so um, catching up here at Maple Motors. 01 Chevy Express, I believe. This is a 3500 model and it's $3,500. Check it out. If you like it, give us a call. Guys, I appreciate you watching. This time, I am out. I'm going to do some test drives later.